Clinton Community College. Got an information session coming up this evening for the new Career Advancement Center. Dr. Kelly, how did this idea all come about for a Career Advancement Center as part of Clinton Community College? You know, we've been working really closely with the high schools and the superintendents for a number of years. And looking at some national data, about 65% of the jobs in today's market require some sort of post-secondary education. And quite frankly, Clinton and Jackson County, we weren't getting there. We weren't getting folks that training and that education beyond high school that they really needed for the jobs today. You walk into some of these places, we were at Lion Del Vassell recently, we've, we've been in, in, in different uh, companies. Everything's technology, it looks like uh, something out of Star Wars or Star Trek, right? There's a lot of training now on this, uh, uh, you know, in, in industry. And we weren't really getting students to that level. And we thought, how could we do this? So we came together with the superintendents from Clinton and Jackson County and across Eastern Iowa. And we put together this bond initiative to really build these career academies where students could be involved with state-of-the-art equipment and get those job skills they need to be competitive in the market at no cost. Um, this is the start of a generation worth of change, right? We'll have, we'll have these facilities for many years to come, and we're going to be training students who can move directly into the workforce, get some more training, uh, go to Eastern Iowa Community Colleges and finish their degree, or go straight to a four-year degree, but they'll have that basis in training, and they'll get it here for free while they're in high school. Now, you were telling me before we went on air, you kind of had a soft opening last fall. You're really going to get into it this fall, and you've got the information session coming up this evening. What's all going to take place this evening? Yeah, so this evening we'll have, we have a couple of things going on today. We have an orientation for our new students. Uh, that'll happen in the afternoon. Really excited that they'll get to spend some time with their advisors and some of the faculty. We'll also give a tour of the Career Academy Center. Amazing statistic, we, we had 1,200 students through that facility this spring. Uh, what I really wanna do is get junior high students through there even down into the elementary schools. I want students to start thinking about that. I'm gonna be in that auto program my, my junior or senior year. I'm gonna arrange my schedule in high school so I can be part of engineering technology. Or I really, I looked at the culinary lab. You know, it's the most, it's the prettiest kitchen in town. It's gorgeous. If you, look, if you watch any of the cooking shows, it, it's nicer than some of the kitchens in the yeah. shows. Uh, it's, and Lisa Toppert's doing an amazing job with our students there. So um, I want them thinking about that. I want that in their plan. So it's getting students through. So today's another opportunity to add to that list of 12 or 1300 students who have been through and see that. We also have um, from six to seven at night, we have a cookout. We're just gonna, we're gonna invite students and we're gonna invite community just to have some food and stop by, look at the new facility, eat a little food, something we call summer sizzle. Uh, there's, there's a thing in higher education called summer melt, and it means students uh, stop in May, and over the summer they decide, oh, I'm going to do something else and not come back to school. We like to keep them engaged so they remember us and they're back in the fall, and so we call it summer sizzle. <laughs> Again, visiting with Dr. Brian Kelly of Clinton Community College. Let's talk about some of the programs. You mentioned automotive and culinary. Is there a pretty good variety of what opportunities for these students? You know, we're so excited that in Clinton and Jackson County, we have amazing opportunities. Uh, one example, I don't have culinary in Maquoketa, but um, we've got Maquoketa students coming down from Maquoketa High School. Uh, on, on the second half of their high school day, taking classes in Clinton, where the facility is. Uh, later this afternoon, I'll be in DeWitt. We should see that new DeWitt Center opening um, this fall. We should get that building early August. So within the next six or eight weeks, we should have that building handed over to us. Again, another gorgeous state-of-the-art facility. There's a science lab in there that's that's out of uh, a, a magazine cover. I mean, it's just it's gorgeous where our students will be learning health professions, taking, doing some of the lab work and the science work they need, uh, beautiful construction technology um, uh, area, CNC machining with, with the state-of-the-art stuff. Newer than, you know, 
our students will be learning on the equipment that industry will be getting in two or three years when there's, you know, needs to be replaced. You know, as you were talking, it just struck me how far Clinton Community College has come. It got its starts in the high school, yeah. then got its own building, and now you're talking about being in DeWitt and Maquoketa. You've been here almost, well, three and a half years yeah. now, and you have seen tremendous growth in, in just your short time. Yeah, it's it's been incredible. It's a community that was ready for this sort of initiative. We've got eight superintendents in Clinton and Jackson County. We work together closely. Uh, we've got a community that really wants that. And we've all heard about student loans, right? And we've all heard about, you know, unemployment and a tough job market. And we wanted to do something no one's recession proof right and we know there'll be another recession but let's build a community that supports its youth and folks who need retraining so when we do hit those bumps in the economic road we're, we're ready for it and collectively we've made some really good decisions talk a little bit about the instructors you mentioned lisa topper in yeah. the culinary where are these instructors coming from brian you know a lot of them come directly from industry a lot of them come from education Education. We're really blessed in having an amazing array of instructors that are student-focused, work really well with our students, and not only connect them to the skills they need in the classroom, but to industry connections and those jobs. In some of our programs, our welding program in Maquoketa, which we've had for a number of years and is now part of the academies, there's 100% placement in that program. If we have 18 kids in that program um, and they're not going on to further their education and want to go directly into the workforce, we place 100% of those students mm -hmm. in positions. You know, The employers know that they get the skill sets they need and uh, they're lining up to get them. How can people find out more information? I know the website, eicc.edu slash ccnew. What are they going to see on that website, Doctor? You know, all kinds of information about those programs. In fact, we're really excited. Part of One of the teams I work with uh, at a district level is, is our marketing team and our web development team, and they just put together a fantastic new website that launched yesterday. Uh, here's an interesting stat. It's, it's more scrolling than pointing and clicking. We've been told that um, with phones and all the new gadgets that uh, the average person scrolls the height of the empire or of the uh, Statue of Liberty every day. <laughs> so, I can believe it, yeah. Right? And you, yeah. we were all on our phones. So it's a scrolling site. It's active. Lots of information on the program. Contact information for the advisors you need to talk to. Um, EICC.edu. I, I urge you to go there and poke around and find out information about these programs. Of course, you got the information session this evening. When will the fall session actually get underway, Doctor? So fall session is going to start, we'll start that in August, and that starts around, um, I want to say Monday, August 21. Okay. And so we're, we're looking at that. Uh, we'll, our high schools will come back a little earlier. We'll have some uh, transition period with them into the new facility. Last year, about 30 or 40 students in that facility. This year, well over 100. Mm -hmm. We'll triple the size of our cohort this year, and I expect to, when we bring DeWitt on board, uh, we'll, we'll double that again. That is great to have a facility out in DeWitt. I know it's nice to have it here in town, but give those folks an opportunity to stay in their own area, their own community. Yeah, we were really concerned about transportation, right? I don't want um, all of our students to spend their day uh, in a bus or in a car. And when we talked about this and we were looking at locations for Clinton and Jackson County, having a center in Clinton, DeWitt, and Maquoketa puts everybody within a, a close striking range to be able to take uh, advantage of these academies. You know, we talk primarily right now about high school age or young college age, but what about the older workers, somebody who wants to relearn or 30, 40, 50 year olds, can they be involved? Absolutely they can and we love to have them in the classrooms because they come with that workforce experience, they come with a little bit of wisdom and it's great to have that learning happen side by side. 
Uh, when you watch a 19-year-old help, uh, you know, a 50-year-old like me with technology, yeah. and and uh, and that 50-year-old help that 19-year-old yeah. with, um, you know, some of the skills they might have learned in the industry, it's a beautiful thing. So, yeah, yeah it's it's really open, and we hope that uh, we we see some more folks taking advantage of that. We've already started to see that. Yeah, I could see where they could have that play back and forth, yeah. and that would be great to watch no Terrific. doubt so dr brian kelly what again is all taking place this evening this evening we start with our new student orientation for the 2023 year we'll have three other sessions students can register for july 11th august 12th and august 17th as part of their orientation process uh, to to get entered into the college we also have a tour tonight of our Career Academy building where we'll be showing some, uh, we'll be able to walk people through state-of-the-art equipment, beautiful kitchen, welding lab, engineering technology, automotive. And from six to seven tonight, we also have a cookout. You know, uh, we're gonna just do some barbecuing and hang out and connect with our students. And I would imagine uh, you would welcome mom and dad to come along with the students we, as well. We love to see mom and dad. At this very event last year, I met some parents that, that I'm still in touch with, and it's a great touch point to uh, to be able to, to meet a parent who has some questions or, or isn't sure. Uh, you know, the nice part about taking the classes in high school, if you can be part of the career academies again, that's a no cost solution yeah. to training. It's something that you know we're really proud to offer in this community. Both um, Comanche and Clinton are doing some huge remodels on their high schools as well. Uh, coupled with these career academies, there's not a town in Iowa with 25,000 people that can offer this many resources to students in the community. Again, thank you so much for coming in. It should be a beautiful night. I'm hoping the attendance is outstanding. If people would like to find out more information, the website so they can do some scrolling. Absolutely. <laughs> what is that website? That's uh, that's uh, eicc.edu. All right, very good. Thank you. Thank you. This, keep it on the down low here, is the Dan Patrick Show. Monty Williams, of course, is the uh, highest paid coach in NBA.